So, as you already having experience with Oracle applications, this is the architecture which we are using to access the Oracle EBS. Okay. okay. So, usually you will use Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or web, uh, any web browsers to access the application which is called desktop hire. Yeah. Okay. So, but every request you are giving from your browser to the URL where the web server is sitting and responding to your services. That means, based on your request, sometimes it may need to open a form, sometimes it may need to run the concrete program, sometimes it may need to run the discoverer program. So, based on the type of the program, particular server will comes into the picture which will execute and provide the output to the user. These are all will be maintained in the middle tier called application tier. Okay? Okay. Basically, what I claim is three tier. One is client, which is calling desktop tier, which you all functional people are using to access the application. Okay? But you don't know what exactly the backside services are running, how you are getting the services. Those are all servers installed in another tier called applications tier. Okay? So, and there is one more tire which is working under the application tire that is called database tire okay this is the place where all your data will be stored okay from desktop okay. tire you can reach only application tire but you cannot reach to the database tire but the application tire only can access the database tire getting okay. yes okay so in simple example when you open a sales order form and if you are querying for a sales order called 2323, okay? okay? Whatever the data you are seeing is loading from database by a form server called Oracle form server through a screen called Oracle form. You understand how many people are involving in that? I mean to say people in the means programs. How many programs are involving? Yes. Okay? So when you are requesting for a sales order form, the form should be opened by the form server only, which is mentioned here. The second is called form server, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, at the same time, I will also open the application so that it can be very easy to understand. Okay. So I am giving my system URL. Okay. Yeah. This is where my EBS is installed. Okay. You are able to okay. see that login screen, correct? Yes. When I log in with the operations and welcome, I can see different different responsibilities. And when I click on any responsibility, these are the functions available in the responsibility, correct? Yes. If you see in the favorites, some of the functions contains the different icon, some of the icons contains the different icon. If you see payable invoices showing as a different icon, Home is showing as a different icon. Are you able to see the difference between the two icons? Yes. Okay. So, I think you already know that this is the Oracle form icon and yeah. this is the web self-service forms function. Okay. Do you know this difference? Yes. Okay. So, if I click on, suppose, administration, the same function will be opened in the same window. It will not open the another window. Okay? Mm. Suppose if I click on any function, which is a Oracle application, Oracle form function, then it will open the forms window, correct? Yes. Now, in my, in my system also it is opening. So, in the second case, when I click on a function, the form mm. server comes into the picture. There is a form called sales, uh, some whatever the form is opening. That form mm. is the see, invoice workbench. This is the form. Yes. This form is opening and mm. data when you query by using control F11, mm. you can see the data in the form, but the data is coming from where? It is coming from the database. Database. Okay. That is what the meaning of this slide. Mm. Clear? Yes. Okay. Next coming to understand how, now functionally you know how it is behaving, but to yeah. get that behavior, what are the technologies is used by Oracle, mm. okay, 
what are the types of the products available in the market that I'm just going to explain. Mm. Okay, like you have Oracle EBS and you have SAP, you have Microsoft ERP also. Now Tally also having their own ERP. Okay, okay. but when you are talking about application, we have basically three different types of the applications in the market. One is called a standalone application. Okay. Second mm. is called client server application. Okay. okay. Third is called web application. If okay. you take in the world, entire world, any mm. application maybe comes under any one of these type. Mm. Suppose if you take Microsoft Word, it's a simply standalone application. You will install in your system, you will work on that, you will close that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. If you want to develop similar kind of Microsoft Word technology, you will choose a language called C, C++, Java, some language, and you will develop that application, and you will sell in the market. Mm. Clear? Yes. Suppose if you take another application called Microsoft Outlook. Mm. Okay, this is not a standalone application. It's a client server application. Means, if the, your email server was down, you cannot see any update in the Outlook. Yes. Correct? So, there should be a server program should be running in one location. A client program should be running in another location. You need to configure the details in the client, how to connect to the server. Mm. What is your email address? What is your password? And what is your uh, email server name? what is the port numbers, there are so many configurations you need to enter into the outlook. Okay. Okay. Suppose if you want to develop similar kind of application like outlook, you need one technology which is used to develop the client product. You need some technology which is you need to develop the server product, correct? Yes. Maybe there are some products which are supporting both technologies also. Same way, if you want to develop a web application, now you can see the different, different technologies involved in the picture. Okay. Okay. Suppose, mm. first, if it is a web application, you need some web technology should support it. Okay. So, currently in the market, we have IIS. Internet, ISAPI server is there. Okay. This is also a web server. Mm. Like Apache also a web server, WebLogic also a web server, WebSphere, everything is a web server only. Okay. But which version you are compatible with the uh, EBS R1211 or 12.1.2 or 12.2? 12.1.3, 12.1. 12 yeah, see 12.1.3 using Apache server only. Okay. Okay. From 12.2 on they are start using the Oracle WebLogic server. Okay. Because they want to integrate other applications also into the Oracle EBS. That's why they are using the web server, WebLogic. Okay. okay. If you take Oracle Fusion middleware, it's complete pack with the web server. Even in Oracle Fusion middleware also, the web server is Oracle WebLogic only. Okay. Okay, like for development, you need different. You have different different technologies in the market, like Java, .NET, Oracle Developer, Oracle PLSQL. So, whenever you are going to develop web application, you will choose multiple options from these different types of the technologies, like which database you want to choose, which tools you want to choose, which network you want to choose, which systems you want to choose. Then only the total application will be ready to use. Okay, get my point. Yes. Okay. Suppose if you are constructing a home, you will choose, okay. there are so many colors available in the market like Asian, Narolac, mm -hmm. Batzer, different kind. You will select one color, right? Mm -hmm. There are so many different types of the floorings like marble, tiles, mm -hmm. different types of mosaics. These are all the things. Okay. So once you choose different types of the components, finally it becomes a, a good house by completing the construction. Okay. Same way, if you're talking about Oracle applications, which is a EBS, yes. needs different different tools. So you will you will buy these tools, then you will start building the product. Yes. 
getting my point? Yeah. Now that is the reason Oracle is purchasing keep on technologies in the market. Now they purchase the Linux, correct? Now Linux also part of Oracle only. Solar is also Linux uh, Oracle only. Even WebLogic also purchased it from other vendor by Oracle. Okay. See, database anyway they have, so they need not to buy any MS SQL or Sybase or DB2. Hmm. But coming to the web, logic, uh, web server, they don't have any web server, that's why they purchase the Oracle WebLogic. Okay. See, suppose you are a SCM consultant, you can do any SCM work. But yes. there is a project which needs a SCM guy and HR guy. Then what you will do, you will hire one more guy which is strong in the HR, then you will ready to service the project. Yes. Simple. Okay. Okay. So this is what the database schema using by Oracle EBS. Okay. This is called centralized distributed schemas. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. this we will see in detail in the training sessions. Okay. So previously we discussed about we need one database, we need one tool, we need one network, right? So database we are using Oracle, but the schema concept we are using like a centralized schema. Okay? Okay. What is a centralized schema that you will see in the next sessions? Okay? And ultimately you are going to learn in this Oracle EBS technical how to manage the system administration and how to use the application developer. These are the two different responsibilities in Oracle EBS. Mm -hmm. Okay, just I am showing you in the application also. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I selected the application developer only. Okay. Okay, like you have system administrator also. Mm -hmm. In my mind? Yes. Are you able to see just now I selected the system administrator? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, like we will also use one more responsibility called alert manager. Okay. Inside EBS, these are the three major responsibilities you are learning in the training. Okay. okay. Maybe we are touching some other responsibilities for very rare cases, but mainly these three responsibilities we are using. Okay. Like, see, you are SCM consultant. Mainly, you will use the inventory, OM, PO. Correct. Yes. Maybe sometimes you may also use the bomb or whip or something different. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So that is what the mainly uh, overall ERP. But coming to the applications, as you already know, mm. we have more more than 320 applications available in the EBS. Yes. Okay. And all these modules are separated as a functional and technical. Mm. Maybe some modules treated as also DBA, but now we are not considering about the DBA. Okay. Mm. 12.2.3, I forgot to update. Okay. So the latest version in the market currently is 12.2.4. Yes. Okay. Like for functional, there are some modules. For technical also, there is a module which you are learning called AOL means application object library. Okay. Okay. So you are learning a module called AOL mm. where system administrator, application developer, alert manager, etc. responsibilities are involving. Okay. Like for SCM, inventory, PO, OM are involving. For AOL, sysadmin, application developer, alert manager, responsibilities are involving. Okay. Okay. So versions also, this is the information. Just you can get it in Google also. Next, coming to concepts, what exactly we are going to explain is, <coughs> till now whatever we discuss it is just an introduction about the ERP and what I can use. Okay, so coming to syllabus wise or topics wise, what exactly you are going to learn in training is, the total ERP, how integrated with the manufacturing, CRM, financial, supply chain management, HR, etc. by using technologies. Understand? See, okay. for you, SCM is different, financials is different. But coming to the technical person, both are farms only. It may be general entry farm 
or it may be inventory item form or it may be a sales order form, purchase order form. He is not at all bothered about what is the form he is going to do in the functional side. Okay. His responsibility to develop a form which can do only four maximum operations. Do you know okay. any form can allow to do only four operations? Do you know what are those four operations? <coughs> any form. Any form. We'll Either we'll be able to what? enter yeah, data. You can, uh, you can enter data, you can modify data. Okay. Yeah. You may delete data in some cases or yes. you may query the data. That's it. That's it. Mm. See, you are a functional consultant. You mm. want to keep some information in the system for future purpose. Mm. So you will ask technical person, hey, I want to keep this information in the system. Can mm. you please design a screen like this? Over. Mm. He, he, he need not to have any knowledge of what is a sales order or what is a purchase order. His responsibility, yes. how to design the screen, how many fields are mandatory, how many fields are read only, how many fields are input fields, how many LOVs, check boxes. He will explain from his side. Mm. Like as a functional consultant, you will explain to the client, this is a field for gender. Yes. Okay? But okay. same way, the technical person will explain to you, this is a checkbox you can use for the gender. Okay. There is a um, payment type, cash, credit card, check. You may explain this is the payment option available in the form, but the technical person will explain this is the radio button we used to develop the selecting the payment option. Okay. 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 Are you getting what I'm trying to explain? Because I don't want yes. to teach you like a institute or something. We will talk yeah. Yeah, because luckily you also know the application. Yeah. It is very comfortable for me to explore more about technical. Yes. Okay. Mm. So these are the different versions released in the market. Okay. Till mm. the release 11. Mm. You are able to see there is a release 11. Yes. After that, release 11 I in 2000. Mm. Mm. Till May 2000, Oracle EBS is a, just a client server application. It is not web application. Okay. That means you need to install some software in your, in your laptop or desktop. Mm. Okay. And you need to configure that software. Mm. And whenever you open that application, it will ask the username and password. Then it will connect to the server. Just like your Outlook. Yes. But from 11i onwards, it is supporting through the browser. Mm. That is what the meaning of the web application. Mm. See, I don't know whether you are observing or not. Previously, whenever you receive any PDF file in Gmail, mm. I'm talking two, three years back. Okay? okay. So you can see the attachment of the PDF. First yes. point. If you have PDF software in your system, you can download and you can view. Okay. Correct? Suppose, yes. if you don't have any PDF software to open the PDF file, then you cannot see that output. But yes. right now, when you click, Gmail will provide the application to open that file. Okay. That's why on top of Gmail, you can see one more layer, which is a transparent layer, where you can open the PDF file. Mm. That is what providing by the Gmail, like Word document, like Excel document. These are mm. web applications now. It's not like your standalone application. Yes. See, whenever you receive an attachment, you can download and view option one. You can view there itself. Yes. How it is possible? Because they are providing the application from the yeah. internet itself. Those type of applications will be called as a 11i. Okay. Okay. Like different different versions released right now we have in the 12.2.4. Okay. And so inside EBS you are going to learn two responsibilities, sorry, three responsibilities. System administrator, application developer, alert manager, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Coming to the technologies, what you are going to learn in the Oracle EBS. Those are I'm talking inside the application. These are talking okay. about outside of the application we are designing and we will put it into the server. Yes. Okay. So one is apps performance tuning. Okay. 
this is just only a theoretical topic which I will explain how to improve the performance. Okay. What are the ways of supporting by the Oracle? Mm. Okay. Generally, this activity specifically doing by the tuning team. Okay. Okay. Tuning is a very complex concept. Once you have some technical experience for years, then you can easily understand what is a tuning. Meantime, okay. you can understand what is a tuning, how to do minimum tuning. See, now you cannot expect a, a complex form designing, right? You can expect a normal form design. Mm. Okay. Like, we have technologies like how to develop forms, how to develop reports. Okay. When we are talking mm. about reports, we will talk about normal reports, XML publisher reports, both. Okay. Okay. Next, discoverer, we are going to discuss. Workflow, okay. we are going to discuss. Mm. Okay. Coming to Java technologies, we will talk about Java, JSP, and self-service. These are all introductions. We will have one one example for each program. Okay. Okay. Next, we will discuss about the interfaces and integrations. How to design the interface programs in terms of inbound and outbound both. Okay. Okay. And in this in these sessions, we will use different types of tools like SQL loader. We will use util file also. We will use. Okay. Okay. So that you can easily understand. Okay. And how to do the data migration, how to do the conversions, both we will mm -hmm. explain. Okay. Okay. So customizations wise, we will talk about all customizations like uh, different keywords, right? In the market, people say rice, Kimli. Okay. Yes. Yes. But our concern is how to develop a new application, how to customize the existing application objects. Okay. Okay. For each application, what are the maximum? technologies we can use. If you know these three topics, you can say, I'm a technically certified. No issues. Okay. okay. And we'll talk about standards and compiles, how to follow the standards, what is the main intention. Okay. So the remaining anyway, you, you know how, what is a consulting, what is a training and documentation for the end users. Mm. This training is not my training. This is generally about the user training. Yes. Okay. These are the general technical services you will do once you learn the technical. Okay. Why we highlighted mainly uh, the apps performance tuning, consulting tuning, consulting, training and documentation. This is not the major role in the training. Mm -hmm. Your major role is inside the this green, like tools, next components. Mm -hmm. Okay, tools wise you will be comfortable in how to use the form builder, report builder, mm -hmm. discoverer, workflow builder. Okay. Okay, technologies wise how you will be comfortable how to write a Java program or a JSP file or a self-service file. What is an interface, what is it, how to integrate, what is the data migration, what is the conversion, customize, these are all we will discuss during the training. Okay. Okay, so mainly we will talk about the application first okay? okay so how to design new application how to work on the existing application two topics new application new application in the sense you mean forms yeah forms reports all okay okay see suppose oracle is not supporting a, a new responsibility called xyz okay but that functionality is expecting by the client okay for okay. this functionality, you, you as a functional consultant, you develop 10 forms, 10 reports, something, something, okay? Yes. But where we need to keep all these things? These are all comes okay. into a new application. Okay. Like we will use XX, PTM, XX, O2C, custom objects. Yes, yes, yes. got it. Okay. Now, we will discuss how to create the database objects and how to register. Okay. So when we discussed about this topic, you will be clear what exactly we are going to design at the database tier. Okay. Once you complete the designing, those are all available for the middle tier, correct? Mm. Yes. The way I am showing the screen is for database objects, there is a concept called registration in EBS which we need to follow. Okay? okay. If it is a normal database, you can create a table. But if it is an EBS table, you need to register as well. Mm. Okay. Next, this is how 
oracle form you can see okay okay and once you design the form also you need to re like database designing and registration like forms mm -hmm. designing and registering okay okay this is the self service form this is also a form yes and i will ask you one question technically yes. if someone asks how many types of the components in ebs what is your answer how many types of components components objects components or objects whatever you can say you simply answer we have only two components some of our screens some are concurrent programs that's it okay you cannot see any object other than these two if user open he can open a form correct mm. yes. or he can submit a program what he can do that's uh... nothing else but how many technology we can use to develop the forms that you will learn as a technical consultant how many types of the concurrent programs you can design and provide for the user that you will learn okay see if someone asks what is laptop say simply say it's a monitor and keyboard that's it right yes but as a technical person the guy know what is a screen mm. what is the glass what is the filament what is the mm. picture tube these are all things yes now your role is going to the second level hmm okay okay so we have functions non form functions we are going to discuss okay okay mm. so whenever you are registering function this is the form which we will open and register yes okay yeah and we have concept called flex fields till now might be you are using flex fields but now onwards you can easily understand how to design also okay okay basically we have two types of the flex fields one is called descriptive okay yes and another is called key flex field okay mm. so here yes. you are able to see that uh, symbol right there is a square bracket containing yes. a two space so wherever you find this let me show you in the application So I am just opening the inventory. Okay. Okay. So when I open item master form, okay. See, when I click here, you can see there is some additional information it is asking. Yes. Okay, so we will design how to develop this type of flex fields called descriptive flex fields. Okay. Next, we will also discuss about the key flex fields. How to integrate the key flex fields? Okay. Okay. Already, Oracle is having twenty-six or twenty-seven. It may be close to that figure. So, key flex fields are already there. but how to use that that you will learn because anyway there is no chance till now with my experience to creating a new key flex fields mm -hmm. okay because every time oracle is concentrating on the business customers and whatever mm -hmm. they can provide maximum they are providing yeah but still if you want to create a new key flex field that we will explain how to create yeah okay and next we are explaining about the query find window in so many mm. cases yes, whenever you open a form there is a find button right yes when you click this find button is coming so this helps you to filter the data based on the parameters provided yes so how to develop this type of query find windows okay next we have row elbows mm. correct how to provide the yes. row elbows you go to application so where you can find the royal bovis did you remember sorry royal bovis hmm that means whenever you open lookups okay ah uh, lookups also like suppose if you open the responsibility form hmm see when i open this elbow it is showing the hmm. complete information same way 
not here when i click on find also okay. it should be able to display yeah. getting see mm. the way the find form coming in inventory item master is different mm. but i am in responsibility form okay see mm. correct i am in responsibility form yeah when i go and click on this find button mm. it is not providing the fields to enter it is providing some data itself mm. this is called row lov concept okay okay suppose if i select a uh, functional administrator mm. automatically it opens the record mm. the same functionality you can also provide through query find also but this yes. is another way to design this is called it has row row lov row lov See simple. It will open like SVB model. You can see the mm -hmm. row information. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we will explain how many types of the concurrent programs are there and how to develop. Okay. Okay. So basically, mm -hmm. here we have a submenu called concurrent program. Mm -hmm. So we will talk about how to design executables. Okay. And how to register the concurrent programs. and how to design the parameters okay okay so uh, even you have types also we will discuss currently oracle is not having any standard uh, types if you want you can create the type okay okay and this type we will use it in the defining type okay okay so the type is basically helps to identify group of concurrent programs okay that's it hmm. okay. so that is what concurrent programs and we will discuss about profile options how to develop the new profiles and how to understand the existing profile definitions might be already use the uh, how to setting profiles right yes through profile system this is the form which we are using yes to set the profiles but if you want to so can you can you give me one profile name which you use frequently mo operating unit okay so now i am trying to query for a profile called mo operating okay so mm -hmm. if i go here when i click it is showing some values right yes mm -hmm. now if you want to understand how this profile design there is a option called define profile options yes okay here you can see the logic written by the oracle yes see they are selecting from hr operating unit table mm. okay they are selecting organization id and name that's it yes so as a technical person now onwards you can understand how it is designed not how it is used okay okay yeah. that is what profile options and coming to interfaces we will discuss about i told you right inbound and outbound okay, okay. how to se segregate errors also source records mm -hmm. source application mm -hmm. destination application we will discuss different types of the models based on my experience and how okay. what type of interfaces i developed i will explain the real time scenarios for the all the modules okay okay Mm. and fundamentally you know what is interface the load data is coming to ebs or maybe data is going from ebs to some other system yes if it is coming to oracle it is inbound if it is going from oracle it is outbound yes and we have some uh, e-commerce gateway edi mm. applications where you can design the structure of the interface also mm. okay and we have document sequences how to create the new document sequences for example sales order number is coming automatically right yes but like in some cases wherever you want to generate the number you can generate based on your wish how you want to generate the number series like frequency is 10 like 10 20 30 or 5 10 15 like that that also you can control through the technically that is called okay. document sequences mm -hmm. okay next oracle alerts i told you right apart from the system administrator and 
application developer, we are going to discuss about the Oracle alerts also. Okay. Okay. And basically, these alerts are two types: periodic and event. Yes. Okay. Both we will discuss. Okay. Okay. And we are also discussing about the MYC in EBS. How multi-org access control implemented in the EBS. And we will take okay. one business scenario at country level. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we will explain the legal entity, ledger, operating unit, inventory mm -hmm. organization. And still if you want we can go till the locator also. Okay. Sub inventory and locator. Okay. Okay. And coming to the workflow also, technically we will show you how to develop a workflow to send the notifications to get mm. the response. Different types of the options available in the workflow. And the okay. same workflow we will deploy into the Oracle EBS and we will show how to run, how to test, how to integrate with the other application. Okay. See, I hope you remember that in PO we need to configure the document, right? Workflow document. Yes. yes. Based on that only it will behave. So instead of using standard mm -hmm. workflow, if you want to use your custom workflow, you can develop and you can use it. Yes. Okay. Mm. So these are the major topics we are covering in the technical classes. Maybe it's not possible to tell all the points in the demo, but okay. after completing you can understand what we are providing. And mm, mm, from my side, if you want anything additionally other than the list of the topics, still we are ready to service. Okay. Okay? okay. Clear? Yes. So that's what from my side. Now, if you have any questions or if you want to ask anything, now please go ahead. Okay. So basically, in this training, uh, we would uh, be working on developing forms, reports, workflow, and uh, and some of the uh, interfaces, migrations. So the the uh, SQL part also you'd be teaching us, right? Yeah. In detail. See, we discussed about the database objects, right? Yes. In the database objects, we will talk about all the database objects which are involving in Oracle EBS development time. Okay. I mean to say, we will give an introduction about SQL, PLSQL, uh -huh. then uh -huh. we will come to the forms. Otherwise, there is no meaning to understand the forms. Correct, correct. But, but this uh, uh, SQL, PLSQL, um, uh, it, it takes time, right, for uh, to understand and to get a hands-on experience. See, now you are not a SQL developer or PLSQL developer. As a apps technical consultant, we will tell you how to understand mm -hmm. the existing system or how to develop a simple, simple statement. Maybe by doing practice, you may understand the complex scenarios also. Okay. So, I mean, basically I want to understand, uh, SQL in sense, you, you would be teaching us how to join tables, Everything. All, the, all the stuff, right? See, I will explain the, all the topics, but okay. not in detail, but topics wise, we will cover the, all the list. Okay. I mean to say joins, views, synonyms, packages, functions, procedures, we will develop all the objects. Okay. And how, how about, about oh, yeah. yes, how about this uh, uh, trace files, debug files? Those are all we will explain. Okay, this uh, generally, generally the thing is now I'm working for Oracle India. Okay. And then I'm working in support. I mean, all these days I was I was in implementation projects. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now recently, uh, one and a half month ago, I joined Oracle. Okay. Now I'm working as an uh, support consultant. Okay. Support in the sense, uh, anybody raises service requests, right? Correct. SRs. I know. So uh, I work with SR. from. Uh, okay, you work with SR team. Okay. Yeah. So basically, now uh, I'm doing that one. So in this, okay. What I what I have seen is mo mostly. I mean, 60, 40 percent of the uh, troubleshooting and all these things for that, uh, technical knowledge is needed. Correct. Technical knowledge and understanding the trace files, debug files. 
So small small, small small queries means I can do uh, like uh, joins or this thing. I can I can do the uh, SQL. But okay. to understand the trace files and you know the uh, you scope need minimum SQL knowledge. Yeah, I understand. Huh. So for that understanding the trace files, debug files, uh, that that uh, that I need to you know understand uh, learn. Sure. I will make you comfortable to understand those files. Okay. And also going through now, suppose uh, there would be there would be uh, from the trace file, I will understand that some package, some package is uh, uh, it's not working. 